The new VCL Map Control allows you to embed multi-layered maps into your VCL applications, be it raster maps provided by popular web mapping resources, vector maps built with elements stored in map files, or a combination of both. You can add image and text overlays and pinpoint specific locations on your map with indicators of your choice. With a comprehensive set of customization options, built-in navigation tools, and animation support, the VCL Map Control helps you create interactive map interfaces with ease. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple map and mark specific locations on it. I'll start with a new VCL Forms application project and add the TDX Map Control component from the tool palette to my form. Then, I'll switch to the Object Inspector to display the properties of the map control and make it occupy the entire form. The map control includes the map area and the built-in navigation panel located at the bottom. The map area is initially empty because there's no map to display. A map is rendered based on layers that contain specific types of data, such as image tiles, vector shapes, indicators, etc. Layers are stacked one on top of the other to produce the final map image at runtime. You can create any number of layers and switch their visibility and or transparency level to adjust the layer information displayed in your map. I'm going to add an image tile layer to create the base map. I'll double click the map control to open its layers collection editor and select the corresponding item from the plus buttons drop down menu. Then, I'll switch to the Object Inspector to pick OpenStreetMap as an online map provider and run the application to see my map. The map control contains OpenStreetMap tiles on the fly to render the map. I can drag the map to scroll it, as well as scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. Alternatively, I can use the scroll buttons and zoom trackbar located in the navigation panel. Now I'm going to mark two waypoints on the map for the upcoming training event and link them with a line. I'll return to the form designer and switch back to the layers collection editor to add an overlay layer, the item layer, which will contain the waypoints and the line. Then I'll switch back to the object inspector to customize layer settings. Click the ellipsis button next to the Map Items Collection property to invoke its editor. Select Custom Element from the variety of map item types available in the Plus Buttons drop-down menu and set the element's location and text properties. I type in some latitude and longitude coordinates to pinpoint my location. I'll add another custom element and set its properties in a similar manner. Now I'll link my waypoints with a line. To accomplish this, I'll add another collection item, a polyline, and invoke its GeoPoints collection editor to add waypoint locations as line points. I create a new GeoPoint item and give it the same coordinates as before. First, the DevExpress office, and then our training location. Now, I'll select the polyline and adjust its border color to yellow. And I'll run the application to see the resulting map in action. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.